just handcuffed Andrews to the bottom rope. He's trying to take advantage of the defenseless. Oh, goodness. Chair shot to the back. Andrews writhing in pain until someone says I quit. Oh, he missed. I mean, he's off that ricochet. Whoa. Back body drop all the way out of the gym floor. They call it a blood feud for a reason. Several months this has been going down. For over six months, these two have seen each other across the ring, face to face, fighting over this exact championship. Esparza wants to be the three-time champion. If Andrews wins, he would be a two-time champion. The title is currently vacant. A double pin last time around, and the belt did not sound, and we are Underway of physicality, and now the bell makes it official. I quit match, no pinfalls, no countouts, no disqualifications. And you know what? These two are not necessarily known for being submission artists, but just putting them in a submission, tapping out, saying, I give up, that's not enough. You must utter the two words, I quit. That is the most important part of this whole formula. There are no rope breaks. It does not matter. You can assault your opponent anywhere in this building up to the point that they just say the words, I quit. This is a brutal kind of match. And that's the key thing that you had mentioned, that you have to say those words, I quit. And in the very first I quit match, that's where we learned this lesson, where the match ended, but Tully Blanchard, when losing to Magnum TA, did not say I quit. He said yes, repeatedly, when asked if he quit. So technically, he should not have lost that match. Let's we'll talk about time. technicalities. If you have and a double, a pin, if you have a double pin last month, then the champion should retain the championship. But Marco Anthony insisted because two referees made alternative viewpoints and decisions. And he held the title he held up. The title up. That was Maybe a... that was a smart decision. But what will these two put themselves through to make sure they're the Metro Division champion by the end of Relentless tonight? That might not be a bad idea. Let them let them tear each other up. Let them kill each other. Well, no, no, I, I'm not. I don't need that. We are. In this Chicago. is a difficult trying environment for both individuals. Remember, as far as a primarily known as being one half of zero gravity as a tag team wrestler. CSW has been the opportunity that Esparza has been waiting for. CJE calls himself dope. He thinks he's cool. He thinks oh, he's the no, best. Him he thinks that he, he can rule this ring. And now he's gonna say something. From bad to worse. He's not going to give up right away. Reynolds King, down goes Esparza. We've seen this multiple Whoa. times before. Blinded by the light. Slingshot Spear! We got some special effects going down in this house tonight. Man, the lightning is really bright. Jake Andrews wants his championship back worse than breathing. We got a storm brewing he outside. Might indeed go for some sort of foreign object under the ring. Anything and everything's legal in this. A first time ever situation for Andrew. Look at the steel metal folding chair. Andrew has a chair and he has the legal right to use it. But as far as I went low on Andrews and prevented it from happening. Oh, God, Buster right there. Esparza's got the experience edge. Nobody but Jake Andrews like is so familiar with the recording. Oh, oh wow, man. what a ricochet reaction that was. Esparza, I think, was blinded right there. Bulldog on the edge of the chair. Is he going to quit? Oh, Esparza better. He might not be able to see clearly again. He refused. This has been a rivalry that's been built on technical wrestling, Stan. High-flying offense, flying dives, great strikes, crazy wrists, physicality in the crowd. Foreign objects and shenanigans are now legal. That's 
that's what it means to these two to take it to the next level, to win this championship. There are no limits. Oh, Andrews went head first against the chair. The chair fell on the ground. What impact. Oh, man. Now, Jake Andrews can hit flying knees all he wants. As far as he can hit shooting star presses all day long, but that's not going to force your opponent to say, I quit. It might just knock him out for a minute. It's not going to make him give up. What happens if he get knocked out? What happens then? We had a crazy cliffhanger last month, Stan. Can you imagine a 10-minute argument between officials and Marco Anthony and these two over who should be champion? What's he doing? I think Esparza have found handcuffs. What a, he, he, he just handcuffed Andrews to the bottom rope. Andrews and he's a, got the key. He's a sitting dog now. He put the key in his, in his shoe. He put it in his sock. Stan, you ever try hiding stuff in your sock? All the time, back in the day. Do you remember which sock you hit everything in? Yeah, the left one, just like CJ. Jake has only one arm to defend himself. And this is not oh, going to be pretty. As Sparza can tee off on Andrews at free will. Hey, Ultra. Well, he can't interfere. I was going to suggest Ultra grab the key. But this he, is a shortcut for Esparza to get back the title. Jake did it through hard work. Esparza's trying to do it through very cheap and unfortunate circumstances. He's trying to take advantage of the defenseless. Oh, goodness! Chair shot to the back. Andrews writhing in pain. The crowd has been silenced. It was almost like a gunshot went off in this the gymnasium. Andrews still handcuffed. As far as the trash this talking, not good because he's Andrews not needs to say I quit sooner rather than later. He can't absorb this abuse much longer. Oh, this is bad. The future of your wrestling career is at stake. Come on, Jake! Not Don't do this! The ref put the mic by his There's mouth. There's nothing Ultra can do about it. He's only here to wait until someone says I quit. Esparza, I think, hurt his own oh, yeah. nerve endings in his fingertips. Yeah, the nerve endings off that ricochet. Whoa. Back body drop all the way out of the chip floor. He might have lofted him 10 feet in the air. Oh, God, the beast is fine. He undid the calls. How'd he do that? How'd he do that? What power by the Andrews? power and the strength of Jake Andrews. The power out of those handcuffs. How did Esparza recover like that? Took a back body drop on a chip floor, and he's already fighting back. What the hell kind of handcuffs are those? This is the most important match of both of these men's careers. Well, he cuffed him again. Is Jake Andrews going to be able to use his strength and power to break out of the... I, mean, I don't know. Must have got this, the incredible they must have gotten these cuffs at the teacher store or something because yeah. or they might have gotten them from Garen Prep's uh, no. Dean's, Dean's office or something. Oh, no. Back and forth. I think Andrews has both of his wrists cuffed now. Yeah, but if he's anything like the Incredible Hulk like we've seen a few minutes ago, he'll be able to repeat that and just break free. I don't know, Sparks is treating him like a criminal around here. I know this is CSW, I know it's Chicago style, but this is a little too graphic for our taste. That's crazy. The guy's weakened, so he probably doesn't have the strength anymore. But he just... Esparza wants to hang Andrews on the ring post. Those cuffs might be. And now Esparza can swing any chair he wants at the rib cage of Andrews. Oh, look at that, wide open. Nowhere for Jake Andrews to go. Just trying to beat the senses. Just beat him senseless right here. I can't watch this. This is ridiculous. Here to Andrews. Oh no. That's right in the lower rib cage of the diaphragm. Who knows what could be wrong with Jake Andrews? Ultra now. just put the He's microphone. Not be able to breathe. This just is put funny. the microphone to the mouth of Andrews now, rather than later. We're gonna hear it stand. He, that's, this is bad, man. He's out stretch. No! This is bad. That might be the biggest mistake of Andrew's Dude, life. Seriously, you don't understand how bad this is. The guy stretched out. He got hit in the side where the heart is on the left side on the rib cage. Jake escaped temporarily. How the hell does this guy? He's like a cat. 
When you have your hands cuffed like that, Stan, you can't rear back and throw a punch. You can't do anything, man. You can't open your arms. You're literally in a handicapped state. He is, literally. Andrews tripped. He could not protect his fall. He fell face first on a turnbuckle pen. As far as the runs in, Jake prevents the attack using his foot. Once again. There's the roundhouse kick, just with his legs. Kick with the double axe. Puts down Esparza. I can't believe he's doing this. The youngest triple crown champion. He's getting the key. He's trying to get the key. Yeah, he's right. going window shopping down there. I don't know if he's gonna find the five finger discount. Jake, headbutt him and get the key. Just headbutt him. Sorry, I, 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 I was a manager. Well, he took his, his shoe off for sure. I was a manager for many years, and sometimes it just comes back out of me. But sometimes these guys in the heat of battle, they just don't think what, uh, how to take a shortcut. And Jake Andrews doesn't want to take a shortcut. As far as is an over the top athlete. With no equal. Absolutely. Absolutely. Without question. And that double pin last month People want to shocked the fans. What are we about to witness here? Turn about is fair play. We're going to see as far as the handcuff now. Look at Jake keeping the Spars in very tight. Are they handcuffed to one another? My goodness, Death Valley driver. The Spars are with nowhere to go, nowhere to run. Oh man, he's got him tied up now. Hand. He's pulling on the handcuff. The Spars might not have a choice. Yeah, because the handcuffs are going to tear through his wrist. This is bad too. Barza refuses to give this match up. What? Look at him, he's got a... Jeez. Low blow, totally illegal. Nothing can be done about it. Crushing kneecap, but he, couldn't he did get not that. get enough momentum. Right, right, he couldn't get enough momentum because he's handcuffed. Too if close. you can beat down your opponent or weaken them, pummel them, Destroy a limb, destroy a body part, oh, frighten you, you, them. Man, are you graphic today, man? Can't well, you. this is an I quit match. If you frighten your opponent to True. thinking they got no shot True. in heck of surviving, they just got to say I quit. Look, That's look, the name of the game. Look. Those handcuffs, man. Give them to the ref. They're not doing you any good. Oh, he's still going to find some use for them. He's going to hit him with Right in the face. Solid dude. steel cuffs to the head. Oh, man. Somebody's singles career might be defined or redefined yeah. or ended in this match. Yeah. Yeah. It says it's about far Say enough. It before I end your career. This is a career-defining moment for Jake Andrews. And it could be a career-ending moment. Oh, my. Oh, no. He's got that steel metal folding chair again. What? Oh, he trapped his jaw. The rim of the edge of that chair got lodged right into his throat. Yeah, if that swells up, he's going to choke to death. That's not funny, man. Again, he ain't even going to be able to say, I quit. And Sparza might go for a sky-high cross body block and really do damage to the back and the neck of Andrews to the point of no return. Say it! Say it! Say it! Oh, gosh. Flying oh, cross body block. Andrews got folded up along the edges of that chair. The chair has been disintegrated. Jake was crushed. 
Esparza in the driver's seat. I hope I never see that maneuver again. Not in a steel chair. This is it, Jake. It sounds like a saint. He said no again. And Jake is defiant. He will not allow himself He's grabbing to say belt. I yeah. quit to this opponent. Man, he loves using that belt as a weapon, doesn't he? Oh, he's used that title several times to beat opponents. High flying knee. Right in the mouth. He knocked him out, but you cannot win the match with a pinfall. You gotta make them say I quit. He's gonna handcuff him. He's gonna handcuff him. But how are those handcuffs gonna work? But if Esparza is knocked out, Stan, he can't utter the words I quit. It like, wouldn't matter if he's tied up in knots. True, but he's still flailing his legs and he's still riding around. So he's not knocked out. Oh, uh, he is in a restraint device with no escape. Esparza has, oh my gosh, what are we watching here? His head is being jarred backwards and diagonally. He's going to rip his face off. He said it! He, he said, said it. I quit! He said it! He said it! Drake is a two-time Metro Division champion now! Drake put himself through the ringer several times! His heart, his will! cheat his way back into the title picture, and it didn't work for him at the end. This is the rivalry of the year in Chicago style wrestling for obvious reasons. Every single match, a thriller to the very last second. Anytime, any place, anywhere. If you get a chance to see one or both of these men compete, you have to drop everything you've got and you gotta go see. Oh!